This is Enrico Calzavacca. I'm responsible for research and development and for biomethane development uh, in Europe and North America. I'm here to show you today a, an upgrading plant that has been installed uh, in 2019 uh, at the customer side who already has an anaerobic digestion installation using biogas for feeding the CHP plants that he installed 10 years ago. And last year he decided to go uh, in the direction of biomethane and RNG and uh, for this reason we installed this brand new site and brand new plant with BioChange that is the brand of uh, uh, the biomethane systems made by AB and this installation is capable to treat uh, 1200 normal cubic meters of biogas producing a uh, quality grade uh, biomethane to be injected in the transport grid 25 bars. The steps we are going to go through to describe this process are several and are starting from a pre-treatment where the gas is cleaned through a tower for the reduction of H2S. So sulfuric acid is reduced through a tower and then sent to a treatment skid where we compress, filter and reduce the water, the humidity in the gas through chilling water that is sent to an exchanger and then the mister. Afterwards, a booster is then compressing the gas and we have the gas injected in the activated carbon filters which are filtering the VOC and the H2S. The four tanks for the uh, filtration of COV and the H2S are installed in a lead lag fashion to be able to invert or to put the tanks in parallel or in series to maximize the lifetime of the carbons we have inside the tanks. For this reason, we make sure that the OPEX cost for the carbons inside the filters are minimized through the uh, choice of changing the filters only when the carbons are really saturated. After the activated carbon filters, we have the real separation system for separating CO2 from uh, CH4. This is done through a membrane system and compressor that are compressing the gas at a pressure that is perfect for the operation of the membranes themselves. Uh, this is done uh, at a pressure that can be variable within uh, 8 and 12 bars uh, according to the pressure we need for the gas injection in the distribution grid or in case we have a transport grid we can add a booster to increase the pressure for the gas injection. All loads are managed by variable frequency drivers to make sure that the big consumption is minimized through this VFD. Uh, we have inside the system uh, analyzers to make sure that we can uh, easily and effectively control the process to make sure that the biomethane produced is quality grade and we minimize also the content of CH4 in the off gas. After the upgrading, uh, the uh, gas is sent to a quality analyzer for the gas and whenever the gas is non-conforming, the quality that is needed for the gas injection is then recirculated to the digesters. Otherwise, it can be sent directly to the booster and then to the injection cabin. The range of uh, biochange units uh, is from 150 normal cubic meters to 2,000 normal cubic meters to be treated in a single solution in a flexible and modular solution. The design phase for biochange went through a strict analysis to make sure that we can maximize the efficiency of separation, we can minimize the costs in terms of electrical consumption and to make sure that the system can be reliable, can be available as Ecomax, the solution for cogeneration that can be coupled with biochange to produce electricity and indeed to be used for the anaerobic digestion. A reliable and functional solution has to be coupled also with a service or with a structure and an organization which can provide a service, availability, support preventive, corrective and competence centers to support the customer in the long run of 10, 
15 or 20 years of operation of this uh, specific type of installations.